Okay, so our first problem. A baker has made 18 cupcakes, all right? And they want to use both chocolate and vanilla icing, okay? How many cupcakes could be chocolate and how many cupcakes could be vanilla? So think about what we did before when we were talking about breaking up the candies. How many candies could I eat today and how many candies could I eat tomorrow? <coughs> all right, and then for our second group, or for our second problem, the cyclist wanted to bike 62 kilometers over two days. All right, so how far could each day's bike ride be? So think back to what we did as a group when we divided up the eating of our candies, okay? You guys ready to go work? Yeah. All right, pick your strategies. Mr. B. So let's write down what we know. How many cupcakes am I, how many cupcakes did the baker have? Yep, bud? 18. So they had 18 cupcakes. So the baker has 18 cupcakes. And we don't have to write it all. You can just put down the number 18 if that's easier. So we have 18 cupcakes. Now, what does the baker want? What flavors does the baker want to use? Vanilla. Both vanilla and, and chocolate. So vanilla and chocolate. And do we know how many vanilla they're going to make? Mm. Oh. Do we know how many chocolate they're going to make? Hmm. So, let's think about, remember when we were talking about the candies? Yeah. What did we do with the candies to, yeah? Break them in half. Oh, yeah. we did, uh, so if we were to break in half, how many, how many chocolate cupcakes would there be? Um, if we were to break nine, or 18 in half, how many? There would be um, some on the side and some on the side. Well, there would be some on each side, but what would be a good strategy, what would be a, a good thing to use? To break in half, to figure out um, what could you use? Oh, these blocks. So how many how many blocks do you need to count? Eighteen. Okay, so why don't why don't we do that? Yeah. Okay, so now we've got our eighteen cupcakes here, and you said we're gonna break it in half. So uh, let's see us let's break it in half. So. Now let's take a look. Is that in half? So what do we have to do to make it in half? Well, it's not quite, not quite in half. So what could what could we do? So you have to take some away. Okay. No, I don't. I don't want to break it in half. Here, hold on. Put it back together. Okay. Is that, even. There we go. I knew okay. it was even. Okay, so now, how many cupcakes are going to be chocolate and how many are going to be vanilla? Okay. This is chocolate, this is vanilla. Well, how many are there? But, uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, well, if they're in half, what do you think will happen? How many are there? Okay. You counted nine here, how many are going to be here? Yes, one, bud? One, two, three. Ten. One, ten. Three, 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 three. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So. Nine, nine, nine. And this one's nine as well. So, so how? So there's, you have two groups of nine. Then what are we gonna write out? How many? How many are gonna be chocolate? How many are gonna be vanilla? Uh, nine is gonna be cho uh, chocolate, or, or and not. Uh, this is the, nine. Nine's gonna be chocolate, and wait, this. This is gonna be the vanilla. And how many are there? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine chocolate and nine vanilla. Yes. Now I want you to think about: could he, do, could the baker do any other options? No, I don't. Think, okay. Well, no, they're doing their cupcakes. Could does it have to be nine chocolate and nine vanilla? No. What else? Maybe we can find some other combinations at the of, of chocolate and vanilla. Okay. So now I asked you, I said, there's one of the baker's options. He, nine chocolate, nine vanilla. Could they, could they do any more? D did the question say he, the baker has to do the same amount of chocolate and the same amount of vanilla? No. So what, what could be another option for the baker? Uh, vanilla and van vanilla. What is, uh, when... Just going to break it there. 
Okay. So, what what flavor is that going to be? How many? So, how many vanilla are you going to make? Five. So we have five vanilla, and then how many chocolate are there going to be? Are those going to be vanilla or are those going to be chocolate? Mm. Try me. Okay. So 10 chocolate and how many vanilla? Vanilla. Nine. Are you sure? Because look, it's... It's half the same. It's, well, here, when both were the same, they were both nine. So does that make sense that one is ten and one is nine? So how many vanilla will there be then? Eight. And how many chocolate? Eleven. Are you sure? So we've got 10 chocolate and 8 vanilla. Does that add up to 18 cupcakes? One, yeah. So there you go. There's another option for the baker. So we can write that down too as another option. Okay, so I'm looking. You, you chose to use the hundreds chart. And you're telling me the baker needs to to get 10 and 8. So 10, what, 10 of what flavor? Vanilla. 10 vanilla. Okay. Any chocolate. Now, do you think that those two words would be useful to add to our problem? Now, I'm going to ask you one other question, though. Do they have to do 10 and 8? Or could they do an... What else could they do? No, and then 14. They could do four, four vanilla and 14 chocolate. So, you know what? We'll add those two words. To I think we're ready. I think you should try the green problem as a, as a good challenge, okay? So, you use counters here. And what you said is the baker could have 10 chocolate and 9 vanilla, right? Yeah. How many cupcakes does the baker have all together? How many? It says a baker made how many? Uh, 18. How many cupcakes do you have here? If you count these up, so the red we the red are your chocolate. So we have ten. And then how many how many white are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. So how many cupcakes are on this whole page then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So would it would not be easier just to start what number comes after ten? Eleven. So could we just start with eleven right here? Okay, so let's try that. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. How many cupcakes are there supposed to be? Eight. So what do we need to do then? How, how many do you think we need to take? You said there's nineteen here and we need eighteen, so how many do we need to take out? <laughs> So, we take one. so then, that's going to change our answer. How many vanilla are there now then? There's eight. So then we just change our answer there. Now the baker has 18 cupcakes. Here, you show me. How many chocolate cupcakes did they make? And how many vanilla? Eight. So 10 chocolate and 8 vanilla. That gives us 18 cupcakes. Now you said, why did you make more chocolate? Because you both love chocolate. Could you, could you make even more chocolate? I know, right? Could the baker have made even more chocolate cupcakes? Two more. Could have made two more? Now, if he made two more chocolate, what would you have to do with your vanilla? How many would you have to take away? 
If you add two more to your chocolate, how many are you going to have to take away from your vanilla? Two. Yeah. So then how many chocolate would you have? If you have two more chocolate, Twelve. Twelve, and then how many vanilla? Oh, six. There you go. There's another option for the baker.